This is how I made my first ever autistic meltdown kit at 25 years old. I have been actively fighting the fact that autistic meltdowns are a part of being autistic and now I've finally decided to embrace it. And so that means embracing the meltdowns when they come. I put ring pops and trident gum inside of the kit because I wanna focus on all of my senses. I also grabbed this chewlery that I was able to chew on and also pop. It's my first time using chewlery, but I liked it. I don't know about you, but when my meltdowns are bad, I tend to be a head hitter. So these spiky balls are an alternative way for me to get that stimulation without hurting myself. One of my favorite and most calming smells is eucalyptus. So I got this spray. It was a little overwhelming at first, but it smelled delicious. I then wanted some fidget toys that I could just squeeze and grab. So I got this Neato one. And then I got these other really cute ones. Look at them. They're adorable. They're very cheaply made and I expect that I'll break them, but that's what they're for. Finally, I spent a good amount of money on this little thing, but I tend to be a hyperventilator when I get into this space. And so having a little tool that guides you and tells you how to breathe can be super helpful. I decided the best space for these tools were next to my bed because that's usually where I go when I'm feeling like I'm having a meltdown. Nice. And then I put some, <laughs> I then put some anxiety guides and some motivational quotes on my mirror and that's how I did it.